Hello and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week with me, Mr Barton, where every week I pick you out a beautiful maths question that's designed to help you prepare as best you can for your forthcoming GCSE Maths exam. Now, over the past few questions of the week, regular listeners will know that we've looked at a lot of new topics to the GCSE, such as Venn diagrams, iteration, exact values of trigonometric equations, all that kind of stuff. But there's a danger when there's lots of new things on the GCSE, and that is that you neglect the old classics, the topics that have always been there. And there's a temptation to take it for granted. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just concentrate on the new stuff. However, when I look at the data on this question on my diagnostic questions website, it is causing no end of trouble for students. So I thought we best have a look at it in the question of the week series. So it goes a little something like this, and it's been kindly provided by Edexcel. Which of the following correctly works out the size of each, get that a little highlighter there, interior angle in a regular octagon? Now, I don't want to take for granted the fact that you know what each of those words mean because every single one is crucial. Okay, now each, I'm not going to patronise you with each, but just bear that one in mind. But what about this one, interior? What does it mean to have an interior angle? Well, if you think about a triangle, let's draw myself a beautiful triangle there. Um, the interior angles are these ones. Interior simply means inside the shape. Exterior is a whole different ball game. We'll, we'll cover that in a later video, but we will touch upon it a little bit uh, today as well. Uh, next thing that's important is regular. What does regular mean? Well, regular means the same. And by that, when it comes to shapes, it means every angle's the same size and every side is the same length. And finally, I mean, I know you're thinking, come on, mate, get a move on here. Octagon is an eight-sided shape. If you get the number of sides wrong, you've messed up this question. All right, so as I always say with these question of the weeks, but especially true with angles, wherever possible, do a diagram. So a diagram really helps you picture it and illustrate it and so on. Now, regular viewers will know I cannot draw for toffee. Fortunately, now I've practiced this in rehearsals, I reckon I can make a regular octagon magically appear. Three, two, one, Poof. Look at that, I'm happy with that. Right, so there's my regular octagon. Now, one option for answering this question is simply to just try and remember things. So remember the total sum of interior angles in a octagon, remember it in a decagon, a nonagon, a hexagon. Then you've got to remember what each one is, the size of each interior angle, then exterior angle. Too many rules, I can't remember them all. I'd much rather remember how to derive something. Because if you remember how to derive something and work something out, you only need to remember one thing and then apply it to as many different things as you can. So what I'm going to try and do here, if my pen doesn't go mad, is I'm going to try and derive how to work out the total sum of all the angles inside my octagon and then use that to help me work out the size of each one. Okay, so whilst I am um, getting a bit cocky because I managed to get that uh, drawing of that octagon right, let's see if I can continue it by getting some straight lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a corner, and I like this one here, and I'm simply going to join up each uh, this corner to every other single corner, or if you want to be posh about it, I guess you should call them vertices. So let's get these all joined up. There we go, a bit of that, bit of that, and the last one there. Now, how does that help me? Well, what we've actually done there is we've transformed this octagon into triangles. How many triangles? Well, we've got one there, two there, three there, four there, five there, and six there. Now, what do I know about triangles? Well, hopefully I know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, no matter what that triangle is, is always 180 degrees. And this shape is made up of triangles, entirely of triangles. How many triangles have I got? Six. So what does that mean? My sum of my total interior angles is of this octagon? Six lots of 180. Have I finished? Is that the end of the fun? Is it ek? Because that is just the total interior angles. This question has asked for each interior angle. So how do I work that out? Well, there are eight angles in total. It's regular, so they're all the same. So I've got to share that total sum by each of them. So I reckon I'm going for six lots of 180 divided by eight, which is exactly the same as 180 times six divided by eight. So I'm going for that. But don't you dare think we're stopping there because the fun's just getting going. We've got to discover where all of these each, where each of these wrong answers come from. So why would somebody say 180 times eight divided by six? Where might that come from? 
Well, I reckon this is someone trying to remember the formula. They're just trying to remember, what is it? A times by 180, I do something with a number of sides, blah, blah, blah. They've got the eight and the six the wrong way around. And you do that unless you, you, you're in danger of doing that unless you understand exactly what you're doing. And you understand what you're doing, in my opinion, by drawing a diagram. What about this? This is an interesting one. 360 divided by eight. It's the wrong answer to this question, but it's the right answer to another question. Do you know what it is? Well, that is actually the size of each exterior angle. And as I say, we'll tackle exterior angles in another video, but unless you understand what an exterior angle is, once again, you're in danger of misremembering and misapplying the rules. And finally, well, we kind of covered this. 180 times six, that's your total interior angles. That's before you actually get round to dividing it by eight. And you know what I'm gonna to do to finish, as I always do? Let's think of another wrong answer that we could have had on there. Well, I was thinking something like this might be a good one. Six lots of 360 divided by eight. Can you see how a student may come up with that? Well, I reckon you're gonna do that if you simply muddle up and you think, oh, I split my shape up into, is it is it triangles? Is it how many degrees in a triangle? So either you forget how many degrees in a triangle or you just try and remember this formula and you simply forget that it's, it's 360 degrees you put 360 degrees in instead of 180 degrees. But hopefully if you draw this diagram and you remember your facts about angles in a triangle, you won't go too far wrong there. So look, the message from this video is simple. Don't neglect topics that have always been on the GCSE and wherever possible, draw a diagram because it's a damn sight easier than trying to remember a load of rules. So my advice here would be try the rest of this quiz out, put your angle skills to the, the absolute limit. And then if you need some help or some extension work or whatever, hop on MrBartonMaths.com. You'll find videos, worksheets, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you for another question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.